I've been invited here today to the Farnborough International Air Show by the High Value Manufacturing Catapult as part of the growing relationship between the Catapult, the sector and the IET. I'm going to be talking to some of the people who work in the centres and see the projects that they're currently working on and also having a chat with Dick Elsie, the CEO, and see how the Catapult is faring in his view after two years of existence. We're also hoping to have a conversation with the Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg, and get his view on the Catapult Centre and its contribution to the UK. The Catapult Centre is absolutely essential to the long-term competitiveness of the British economy. If government sticks with that strategy for the long term, not chopping and changing endlessly, that creates jobs, it creates skills, and it boosts our long-term competitiveness. So the National Composite Centre is, is just about to open its Phase 2. The aim is largely to expand the offering beyond the high-performance aerospace to address the higher volume uh, market and the market for large structures. The NCC is beginning to be seen as the international benchmark and standard to which other countries aspire. We've had a variety of other countries, experts, come to look at us because we are doing composites, innovation and technology development so well. We've had the Chinese Science and Technology Minister come over uh, to look at how they can use our model. We are state-of-the-art technology, we are state-of-the-art collaboration and this is all funded and set up and enabled by the UK government strategy. There are a number of companies who have said, oh, actually, the UK government has funded and enabled a strategy of interaction between business and public funded research and technology development which is a really good working model to make sure that prototypes get turned into commercial reality. Very successful. The Catapult Centre, the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre just down the road from where I'm an MP and I regularly visit it. It's incredibly exciting. I really, really hope that whoever's in power after the general election next year won't mess it up. This is a really big shifting of the dial really promising direction. I've met anybody who doesn't think that what we've done is anything other than unalloyed good news for British industry. We've been open for two full financial years and we've beaten all of the targets that were set at the outset. The really important target is the match funded model. A third from industry, a third from government and a third collaborative R&D. Industry income against that stimulus is already 45%. The Fraunhofer's, which we were principally based on, really envy what we're doing in the UK and treat us not only as a head-to-head -head competitor but in some areas they think we've got the edge and I've heard some messages today which completely match the ones I'm hearing which is continued cross-party support long-term commitment to funding and nobody would change this model would they so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it'll, it'll weather any storm through the politics of next year